What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally, WatchOS 8.1 has been released to the general public. What this means is that if you have a supported device like the Apple Watch Series 3 or newer, you can easily upgrade your watch to WatchOS 8.1 by going into the settings and software update. If you're not seeing this update and you are coming from WatchOS 8.1, Point one betas you want to go ahead and go into settings and go to general and go to where it says profiles and remove any watchOS 8 beta profiles that you might have here so just go down and click remove and input your passcode and remove the profile then you'll be able to see the public release and also if there's a different update that has been updated with a different build you'll be able to see it using the public release and not the beta release now for me on my apple watch series 6 i've been updating to it from the first beta up to until it has been officially released and the update size is going to range somewhere between four to five hundred megabytes and if we go to see the build number that i have here settings and then go to the about this watch section you can see the version of the build number that i have here and it's 19r 570 there might be a different build depending on what apple releases but that's what i have currently and now let's talk about the new features and new changes that came with watchOS 8.1 the first one that i want to show you here it's very important since apple released some new hardware so they released the airpods third generation you are that you are seeing here and you can see that these airpods come with uh, spatial audio and somewhere in the release notes if you had to read you know all the description of these airpods somewhere in the description apple mentions that airpods require apple devices running ios 15.1 and also ipad os 15.1 as well as watch os 8.1 so since you are able to play your workout on watch os 8.1 and do share play then this watchOS 8.1 actually supports you know the airport's third generation features which is something that's good now that's as much as audio and airport support when it comes to the wallet app i would like to let you know that apple has made like major updates to the wallet app now if you have like a genesis or a hyundai car you can actually use car keys that are compatible with genesis and hyundai cars and at this time it seems to be a little bit limited because for the genesis cars we have the gv80 2021 as well as the g80 2021 so not all models or ranges have been added but with time this is something that's going to improve and it does this by using or by means of the u1 chip that is in the apple watch so that is something that's great and also again something that has to do with the wallet app apple has now added the ability for you to be able to add your immunization records in the wallet app so you can add your covid19 immunization record or share your covid vaccine card and since i'm in canada my region isn't like supported this is something that your local health service has to add and support so you see how this is like an example of how this is going to work so you can see that once your region or country is supported you'll be able to add to your wallet and health and then after that in your a wallet app you actually get a qr code that you can present and you'll be able to you know let people scan it and you can see like basically how it will look in your health app so this is something that's dependent on your region and support is going to vary as well so just something like what i have here since i use my wallet app to be able to do a variety of things for pickups and so on you'll be able to present a qr code like this and they'll be able to scan it and you'll be able to actually uh, you know use your covid vaccine card on your apple watch and you won't have to carry the physical copy which is something that's great in terms of convenience now also when it comes to the apple watch they've updated the now playing section so i have a video 
video here that I want to play. It's a video of Steph Curry just doing some threes. So you can see here that the now playing screen has been updated slightly, nothing major. If you go back, you can see the devices that are connected on your iCloud that are playing something. And for my iPhone on YouTube, if I wanted to play like a next video, I can do that. Or if I wanted to pause the video, I can do that for my Apple Watch. And if I was to show you my iPhone here, you can see that the video has actually paused. And also you can see that if you have, you know, something else that's playing from your Apple Watch, you'll also be able to control the audio from the Apple Watch. So just minor changes to the now playing screen, nothing major. And also while we're still here, I want to show you the wallet app again, because for specific regions and that this time it seems like Florida in the USA, that is going to be the first region that is going to add the ability to be able to add your driver's license as well as your national ID to your wallet app. So it seems like it's up to like governments and provinces to be able to add this support and whether that is going to be coming to my province province British Columbia time will be able to tell now also with watchOS 8.1 this update fixes a very important bug that was affecting people when it comes to unlocking their iPhone while wearing a face mask using the Apple Watch. So on your iPhone, if you go into your settings and then go to where it says face ID and passcode, input your passcode just like that. And you scroll down to where it says unlock with Apple Watch as you can see there. So I have the Apple Watch Series 7 and Series 6. This is the series 6 that you are seeing here and if this feature is enabled i can put on my face mask and unlock my iphone with my apple watch while i'm wearing my face mask let me go ahead and get my face mask and demonstrate for you what i mean so i've put on my face mask and my iphone is locked and i just unlocked it so you can see on the apple watch it says let me lock that again so that you can have a better view so let me try and bring it closer like this you can see it's unlocked and it says iphone unlocked by apple watch so this was an issue with watch os 8 and also ios 15 but with watch os 8.1 this bug has been resolved for the iphone 13 and 13 pro as well as the 13 pro max and 13 mini models since those ones were the ones that were heavily affected it's it's quite interesting to see that the latest and most advanced devices are the ones that were affected by this issue but here at least it has been resolved this that you are seeing here is actually my brand new apple watch series 7 and there's actually an update when it comes to the apple watch on the iphone so if you unlock your iphone and you go to the watch app so let's open it up and you go to a section where it says all watches in the top corner there and you go to add watch so you can see that you now have like an updated splash screen here that you see so it has been updated to depict support for the apple watch series 7 this is the apple watch series 7 that you are seeing here before it was the series 6 but since the 7 is the latest this screen has also been updated to depict support for that which is something that's good now also something that i want to show you when it comes to watch os 8.1 it's also a difference between the apple watch series 6 and also the apple watch series 7 that you are seeing here so the apple watch series 7 has removed the diagnostic port that is usually on the bottom of the apple watch if you remove your band on the apple watch series 6 you will see the port but on the apple watch series 7 that port has been removed and so the only way you can perform diagnostics on the apple watch series 7 whether it's the 45 millimeters that you are seeing here or the 41 has to do with the 60.5 gigahertz wireless data transfer that watch os 8.1 supports so since it adds support for this apple has the ability to be able to place it on a pad that triggers that 60.5 gigahertz data transfer and be able to restore your watch if it gets stuck in a boot loop or something like that and 
also when it comes to different workouts apple has updated like outdoor cycling and a few other workouts where your apple watch is able to detect automatic workouts so in a sense if you were to randomly pick up a bicycle like outdoors and just begin cycling without commencing this uh, outdoor cycling workout after some time your apple watch is going to be able to detect that movement and it's going to give you a pop-up that's going to say outdoor cycling workout detected do you want to begin workout now so it's able to detect this and as you can see here on the apple page that this is something that is mentioned that it's able to detect you know out some some outdoor workout activities so with watchOS 8.1 this is supported and also on your apple watch if you actually go into your settings and go to where it says sos you will notice that here you have the option for hold side button to enable sos and also you have the uh, ability to enable for detection so for detection for me you can see that it's enabled and you also have the ability to enable only during workouts so if you select this then it will only work during workouts but i keep it to always on so that in either way whether i'm doing a workout or i'm just going about my day this is going to be on so now for detection is able to detect whether you're falling down or you do a hard fall during different workouts it's not all like 100 percent of the workouts but most of them it's able to detect this and if you do make like a hard form it will send you a notification where you have to input your data whether you are okay or you need to call emergency services now there's an unfortunate portion to this for detection because on the apple website you can see that if you take a hard fall during a workout on your watch you can see that this emergency sos for detection is going to be triggered but this is something that isn't fully here so you can see here on this page that this says that this is a feature that is coming soon so it's not a hundred percent working for all workouts and as you can see this is something that might probably come with watch always 8.2 when you know it goes through a number of beta testing and i'll be sure to do the testing and let you know once it becomes operational 100 now also with watchOS 8.1 alongside ios 15.1 if you are an apple fitness plus subscriber so if you open up your fitness app and go to where it says fitness plus right here you now have the ability or support by means of share play to allow subscribers to invite up to 32 people to work together through facetime calls using either your iphone you can use your ipad you can use your apple tv and if you have like a mac that's on mac os 12 and also has airplay enabled like 2018 and newer you'll be able to airplay to your mac and actually be able to share your uh fitness through this share play fitness so if it's a video that you want to watch together the audio is synchronized and so on and that is something that you're going to be able to enjoy once you have updated to watch watchOS 8.1 now again something that i want to show you for the last time you can see the time basically with my risk raised right here so you can see that it's the same time on my iphone so there was a bug where if you would lower your risk like this and you monitor your time on your iphone your iphone would actually update so like the 22 would update to 23 24 25 however on the apple watch the time will continue to be the same and the time would only update when you lower and raise your risk like this and your apple watch you know turns on and that is not like the always on display the always on display that wasn't updating is this one that you're seeing when your risk is equivalent to being lowered so there was a bug with that and that has been fixed now other than that that's about it for me when it comes to the new features as well as new changes when it comes to watch os 8.1 you can see some features aren't fully here when they do become available i'll let you know and also i'm going to be covering ios 15.1 as well as mac os 12 so if that's something that interests you then a sub to the channel would be appreciated <laughs>